Good morning, YouTube. JS in Alaska here, and I have for you yet again a kind of repetitive customer on my channel. The Ruger New Model Super Blackhawk in 44 Magnum. Now, I got this last Monday after a uh, an incident involving me running into a bull moose and uh, me running for dear life. Now, I had a uh, pistol on me. I had a Ruger Security 6 and 357. And after some very, very, very brief deliberation, learned and decided that uh, 357 Magnum is absolutely inadequate for the Alaskan bush. You've got predators such as black bears, brown bears, and more importantly, moose. Everybody thinks of these big majestic animals. No, they are mean. They will stomp you to death if they get the chance. And then when they think that you're dead, they'll stomp you again to make sure they got you. Now, that being said, though, I picked up this here 44 mag. And I am not dissatisfied. This Ruger Blackhawk's got a 7.5 inch barrel. It's got an unfluted cylinder, a square back trigger guard. Can't really see it with the, uh, the grips on, kind of. Big fat hoe grips. Now, absolutely essential with a pistol that shoots a cartridge this size. Ruger gives a uh, gives the factory grips with these things, and I believe that they're just way too small for the pistol size and for the pistol itself. It's just they're too small. Now that being said, I have two different types of ammunition for this gun, and I've got them right here. One of them by a company called Grizzly Cartridge Company, and they are out of. Let me look at the box here if it says anything. Ah, they are out of Rainier, Oregon, and they make 300 grain. What I believe a uh, WF. NGC. If anybody knows what that is, what that stands for, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, these are 300 grain, I believe hard cast lead. Do not quote me on that one, but again, if you know what these are, if you know the details behind it, please answer in the comments below. And uh, these will stop anything on the planet. Now, that being said, I've got a box of these cartridges, and they're not expensive at only $20 a box, $19.99 a box. I have here another box of ammo, the Wolf Gold Performance Rounds. And these are 240 grain jacket, copper jacketed hollow points. They're basically the more reasonably priced of the two. I don't know what they actually cost. Um, these were sent to me. And uh, these are some very, very decent, nice loads. Uh, full brass casing, jacketed hollow points. They are reloadable, and I think they're actually... It says here PPU on the back. Anyways, though, I got these two cartridges, and uh, these are my moose and bear rounds. These are my everything else rounds. So, common sense says if you're going to be going into an environment that says there could be big animals there, you, ha you answer accordingly. So, that being said, a good pistol needs a good holster, and I have for you a great holster, and it's been a while since I did a holster review. This is the Kenai Chest Holster. They're, uh, you can get them on Amazon. They're not cheap, regrettably. They're $150. But these things, they're solid Kydex with a strap system that goes around the back, a Y strap system. And as you can see, these this one's molded specifically for the Ruger. And they make them in everything from uh, Smith & Wesson's, the Ruger Red Hawks, Super Red Hawks also, uh, the Black Hawks, as you can see, and Super Black Hawk variants. Now, this holster is phenomenal. It holds on the trigger guard. It pinches on the trigger guard here. Now, you might need to heat this up a little bit and kind of reform it to make sure that it has a better uh, fit to it. But if it doesn't, worry about it. Don't mess with it. I put on here this little six-shot Mike's uh, cartridge holder. You can get it for like $12 or something like that, if that. But this is a great system right now. And if you were romping around the bush, this is a kind of a necessity to have. Now, that being said... This is not a concealed carry holster. This is a, you put it on the front of you and it's, you're going to work and going into the woods. You can bend over, you can do various tasks. It's not going to actually snag on anything. The only extra real drawback is the actual overall length of the barrel here, just because of it's exposed, can poke you a little bit. But again, that does not matter if you're really carrying too much. Now, um, again, you can get these on Amazon and you can get them on probably directly from the, their website. Uh, type in Kenai Chest Holsters. Again, they're not cheap, but they're worth every penny. They're comfy. They're 
right there. They're snug to your chest. Unless you don't adjust it appropriately, it's not going to go anywhere. But anyways, though, I hope you all enjoyed. And as always, stay frosty and have a good day.